the distribution paradox. So this is a little graphic we put together uh, showing David versus Goliath. David represents the small brand entrepreneur or the small supplier. Goliath is the, are the large guys, the big brands. And you typically see, you know, neither of them can get enough attention from their distributor. Distributors have some degree of freedom and control, but they're also limited by the needs of their customers. You know, they still have to sell product. When looking at distribution options into expansion states, there's other options than just the, the national footprint distributors, which should always be considered, but you also have other top supplier distributors that may have you know, strong presence in a particular state or have some, some presence in a region of the US. Uh, you also have second tier distributors, which typically will uh, have a presence in you know, one city or maybe a few cities with, throughout a state. And they don't normally work with the, the biggest suppliers, so they work with you know, small to medium-sized suppliers. And then you have alternative distribution options, such as Park Street, where it's really an unbundled approach, meaning the logistics and warehousing, storage and deliveries, order fulfillment, that is all separate than from the sales. And so you actually control the sales. This is really beneficial, especially in the initial stages of a brand life cycle in learning all about your consumers, defining that blueprint. So you have more insight and can do more market research. And many times this can be more cost efficient in the initial stages of the brand life cycle than traditional distribution. Some examples of strategies and tactics to, to increase attention at the distribution level uh, of course, you know, margins and incentives uh, as a smaller supplier, you might need to provide more margin to that distributor, uh, as well as doing presentations, going to the general sales meetings and doing trainings with the salespeople and building your brand awareness with those people, as well as doing ride alongs, spending a day with a distributor salesperson, going along with them to accounts telling the brand story, building that personal connection, not only with the salesperson, but that account as well. And then in market sales and working with brokers or brand ambassadors, someone who's actually more dedicated to your product and going out there to, to promote it and be in front of accounts 